Hey, I lost three subscribers again. Yay, I'm happy. Guys, what's up? It's the Collegiate Detective here investigating your favorite albums. And today, uh, I just came back home from stepping outside of my apartment, which is pretty insane. But also, I am going to do my second album review. And I'm going to do a review of an album from Hong Kong again. And this time, it is Supper Moments. Saigai Bin Liu Yang, or The World is Changed, which is the translation of Saigai Bin Liu Yang. Um, anyways, uh, Hong Kong music, how do I put it? I was never a fan of the music from Hong Kong, which is where I'm from, where I'm at now, and ethnically I identify with as well. And uh, yeah. Hong Kong music has always been some of the most boring, bland, unoriginal, uninspired, the list goes on. You've heard me complain about this for ever already. So I have already reviewed two Canto Pop albums. One of them is more recent and it is boring AF. The second one dates back to 2001 and it is actually more versatile and artistic. It's actually kind of enjoyable but only to a certain degree because some songs are still duds. And now I venture into canto rock music, Supper Moment. Uh, Supper Moment has been one of the biggest and most popular rock bands in Hong Kong. And I uh, one of the members in Supper Moment, I think the vocalist, is from my secondary school. So a lot of people from my secondary school were talking about Supper Moment, like, oh my god, such a great band, school so proud of them. Um, and uh, yeah, I think they even performed once in our school before and I was there. And I, I remember being bored out of my mind. Yeah, so um, first of all, defining canto rock because rock music has a lot of different genres i mean we have all the way from folk rock indie rock pop rock to prog rock garage rock psych rock and then we have the punk and post-punk we have the post rock we have the art rock the experimental the abstract the avant-garde and then we have the metal which is almost different completely different from rock music and then we in, in metal we have black metal heavy metal uh thrash metal uh, metal core, you know, uh, tech death. So rock music has a lot of kinds, but I can safely say that canto rock is basically the same with canto pop, but with more rock instrumentation. So more drums, more guitars, that's it. Structurally and melodically, it's still extremely similar to canto pop. And once again, we have an incredibly uninspired and unoriginal album here and perhaps the entire genre sounds like that in Hong Kong. So uh, yeah, uh, if there's one thing that I'm slightly impressed with is the vocals. I think they're more glamorous and a little bit more expressive than normally you would hear a vocalist in a canto pop song or album and uh, I like that but that's the only thing that's slightly good about this album. The, the album itself is actually very boring. The album starts off with We Are Colorful, which is this, you know, very hopeful, very hopeful track, hopeful album opener about, you know, oh my god, the world is, is so new, it's so beautiful, it's so colorful. We get these hi-hats, drum building tensions, and we get these very bright pianos. But, and then... It's just another really generic and trite track with very cliche chord progressions. Like, this, the songs they make, man, it's the kind of songs that you can just make up in two seconds. Like, say you come up with a chord. Dun, 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 dun. See, I, I, I can even make a song that sounds like this in two seconds, okay? The second track is Cheng Gong, or Please Speak, and this track instrumentally, it's slightly more special than others. The guitars are actually pretty fun and jangly, and I actually quite like the chorus. It's summery, it has a nostalgic element to it, 
but the verses, oh my god, it sounds so fucking stupid. La 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 ne ho ma ho ho ma ho ho ma ho ho ma ho ho ma. Like just why? Why do you have to ruin a perfectly, not perfectly, but a good song, a decent song with these stupid, repetitive vocal bits? It's so. St- uh. And then we have the big single of the album, Mojun, or Endless, and it is huge. And we have very special lyrics about not giving up, you know, oh my god, there's so many obstacles in life, so many people trying to bring you down, but, you know, don't give up, you know, always hold your head up high. And, and uh, yeah, beneath all that, it's it's just another really boring and generic uh, track with a very cliche chord progression with rock instrumentations. I really don't understand why is this song so big because I see nothing special about it. Next up, we have the track uh, Long Young. And I don't know how am I going to translate this to a title because in a sense, it's... I. I don't know if it's true or not, but maybe they're referencing to Ronin, which is like this Japanese samurai. I just looked it up. Or they they could really just be talking about like nomads, like people who, who don't have homes and they just go around. Nomads. Or even more plainly speaking, wave man, like wave as in like a like a like a wave long young wave man. Uh, but uh, yeah, this track is a very plain slow guitar song and the worst part about this track is its muffled vocals um it doesn't add a texture to this track at all it it just sounds muffled and it's like pointless then we have the track Gehayan or robot where they sort of dabble a little bit into some math rock aesthetics with very flashy doodly guitars which is pretty nice and we also have lyrics sort of criticizing the music industry of Hong Kong like how formulaic and rigid the music of Hong Kong is and how 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 many rules and restrictions there are in the music industry in Hong Kong um yeah I mean, it's it's a good thing that they're pointing this out, but aren't they a part of this as well? I mean, just listen to the music they're making. Isn't their music just as bland and as unoriginal? And also the verses and the choruses of this track is so stagnant. It stays so still. It doesn't move. It's They, they are exactly the problem they're talking about. And then we have an interlude which is like one and a half minute long, and it's just some tiny guitars, you know. And then we have uh, Mean Pei, or actually this track is sung in Mandarin, so it's uh, Lian Pi, and uh, it means face skin, like skin on your face, and uh, it's more about, you know, wearing a mask. You know, it's like, it's, it's, yeah, it's basically about, you know, wearing a mask, hiding your emotions, hiding your pain with a smile, and uh, I actually like this track. I think this track is surprisingly better than any other tracks on this album. This track is like one level better than every other tracks on this album. This track actually sounds like a, a fully self-made rock song. The uh, instrumentals are actually very fiery and engaging. I like the chord progression. It's not the very trite and generic four chord canto pop thing again. It's slightly dreamier and it's more, um, again, more refreshing. And the guitars are doodly, they're crispy. And uh, the lyrics, they, they're pretty good as well. I like the lyrical topic. And overall, this is a surprisingly okay song. This song is actually okay, unlike the rest of the album, which is really boring. Um, but uh, yeah, we have the rest of the album, of course. The track, uh, the title track, is a very tame and bland, super duper spacey song. And they also managed to sample some children singing, uh, you know, singing the chorus and the way they. They mixed 
the children's singing and the band members singing together is really sloppy. And then we have the album ending, Yau Ne Yau Ngo, which means with you, with me, or having you, having me. But that's, that's not exactly what it really means. So with you, with me, I'm going to translate it as. And it's uh, another really trite, generic, cliche love song about school love, school romance. Oh, sitting in the canteen, I was staring at you, eating your your rice. Oh my god, I'm so moved. Yeah, at the end of the day, this track is plain, it's rigid, it doesn't conclude the album well, and it's just absolutely forgettable. So uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I really don't know what to expect from this album, really. I mean, again, there... There isn't one single track that disgusts me, honestly, but there are tracks on this thing that are so uninspired, so bland, so rigid, and so generic. It's like, oh my, not again. Not again. Uh, there's that one song, again, Face Skin. Really good, fiery, fun, but other than that, I'm just, yeah, I, I, I just don't like this album. <laughs> In general, um, yeah, my favorite track here is Lian Pi, and my least favorite is uh, probably the title track or the last one. I'm giving this one a strong five out of ten. So, have you listened to? Uh, I think this is released in 2017. Uh, have you listened to Supper Moments? The world has changed from one to ten. How much you rate it? Like, like, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.